You know, I like... Oh, is the lighting in the way? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what's funny? Sometimes I'm like, do I want to make that video? And then I sit down in this chair, I get the lighting set up and everything, and I'm just like so excited to be back with you guys. So, so what is good? Welcome back. If you guys don't know me already, my name is Brian. I'm 17 years old. I live in New York City, and I'm in the process of making my dreams a reality. Every day I try learning something new, whether it's about cars or business. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the red subscribe button below and join me on my journey and we'll see where that takes us. Boom, that was first try, guys. I'm getting better at this, okay. So today I'm bringing you a video. I didn't even check the background, make sure everything's clean. Uh oh, there's a shirt right there. Okay, I'm back. Today I'm bringing a video that's actually been requested from quite a few people. I've actually never had a video requested before, so this is kind of cool. I feel like I'm like actually genuinely helping people out on something they want to learn. And um, that's, you know, that's what this entire YouTube thing is about. I'm here to create content, not only for the sake of me wanting to express myself, but I create content because I want to influence you guys to be not only better people, but to actually change your mindset and realize that, you know, your dreams are obtainable. You know, everything you want in life is realistic and you are capable of completing those things. So before we go down too much of a motivational path, which is always dope, uh, I wanna stick to the topic of this video and that is how to pass your road test. A few people actually hit me up in my DM, which is super dope, and they asked, hey, I think we should make that video on how to pass your road test. Uh, I just got my permit and you know I'm practicing and I just wanna know a few more tips. So that's exactly what this video is for. It might be a little long, so I apologize in advance. But uh, if you want some tips and answers to some questions that I wish I had when I first started, then um, this video is, is for you. And by the end of this video, you should be way more confident and kind of have like a checklist of things to do before you take your road test. I remember when I first got my permit, uh, that's gonna be the first step. You have to get your permit. If you don't already have your permit, don't worry. I'm actually gonna give you guys kind of like a little bonus. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna be giving you guys an app that helped me pass my permit test with a 20 out of 20, a perfect score. Um, not to brag or anything, that's not really something to brag about, it's a, it's a permit test. But um, yeah, uh, I, passed the, I, I passed it with a perfect score. And um, if you guys want to do the same, or you know, just make sure you pass it, uh, this app will definitely help you do so. So I actually remember prepping for my road test, and it was just a whole mix of emotions, to be honest. You know, my dad sometimes and I, he taught me how to drive. You know, sometimes we'd bang heads, and I'd be like, "Well, I think I did that correctly," and he'd be like, "No, you really didn't." Uh, I'm a little stubborn, so uh, apologize, Dad, if I gave you some hard times while you taught me how to drive. But I was so excited and ready to become, you know, more independent, you know, be able to drive myself to the store and drive myself to my friend's house and, you know, drive myself to the bike shop if I have to fix my bike or something along those lines, which was an actual thing. I actually just took my bike to the bike shop the other day. I wanted to make this video because I know not everybody in the house is fortunate enough to have like a driver. I know like majority of like my family doesn't even drive. My dad drives and one thing he always instilled in me when I was younger, he was like, hey, you know, when the time comes, like you're gonna get your license, you're gonna be one of the first in the family to get your license. And I was like, yo, absolutely. This is something that I've been wanting, you know, since I was a much younger individual. So I know everybody's not fortunate enough to have somebody like that that's pushing them to get their license and pushing them to more be to become more independent. But you know, that's what this video is for. And I hope that, you know, in this video, you guys can find some key tips that will help you not only get your permit and pass your permit, but help you take your road test, pass it, and keep a very good mindset while you're doing all of that. So, so I actually wanted to break this video down into three segments, um, how to prep for your road test, what to expect on the road test, and how to keep a clear level head when you're actually taking the road test. Because it all comes down to, you know, that, 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 that few minutes of you taking the road test. So I broke it down into three sections and we're gonna get into the first section right now. So first things first, don't skip over this part, it's actually really important. So first things first, you're gonna need a permit to actually practice in the car with a licensed driver, I believe over the age of 21, at least that's how it is in New York. For most of the video, I'm gonna be referring to New York because that's where I live and that's the, like, the laws I know are from here. I'm sure it varies in, in different states. I know in like Alaska, you could get your like senior license at like 14, which is insane, but you know, it's a very less condensed, I think, place in New York, so I understand. But just know that a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be relating to is for New York, pretty much carries over for other 
states, but there are little differences like as in age and you know restrictions. So the one thing my dad did with me when I first got my permit was take me to practice on roads that were very quiet. Now, I know that you just wanna get in the car and go and you know, maybe your parents have allowed you to you know, like, hey, drive me to the store or whatever. And that's super cool, you know, that you already have some experience under your belt. But when it comes to really breaking down the steps and the process, I definitely think you should learn how to handle the car. I think that's super important. You need to know how your car is responsive. You know, you need to, you know, hit the gas a few times and, you know, in an empty parking lot, obviously. You need to hit the gas a few times. You need to step on the brakes quite a few times and really, really understand, you know, how the car responds to you, you know? The car is an extension of your body. Think of it that way. Same same thing with biking or skateboarding. Uh, that, that piece of equipment is an extension of your body. So the reason I recommend staying on quiet roads is because it's super easy to get overwhelmed, especially in New York City with other cars. You know, people are very impatient here. You know, they say if you can drive in New York, you can drive anywhere. And you know, it's super, super easy to get overwhelmed, you know, especially one problem I had specifically is I would get really, really overwhelmed when I had a car behind me, even though the car had no control of what I was doing in my own car, you know, they would honk, they'd, you know, be right on my bumper, and it'd be really, really nerve wracking, you know, considering the fact that this is the first time I ever drove a car, and I have people, like, impatient with me, you know, like, I would definitely suggest you guys get, like, a student driver, um, like a student driver like bumper sticker or magnet or something like that probably a magnet because the sticker is hard to peel off um i'll actually link that below why not right i'm not an affiliate for amazon or anything like that but i'll link a, a magnet below just just to allow people to know that you know you're new uh definitely i know when i'm driving and i see student driver i definitely know to like proceed with caution because i know that person you know is still new behind the wheel and i don't want to do anything crazy to you know scare them or you know anything like that so i definitely suggest uh the student the student driver magnet very important if you guys are enjoying this video so far and want to see more like educational videos like this, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and comment on what you want what you want me to make a video of next. So once you get a basic feel of your car, you definitely want to take yourself into uh, areas with a little more traffic. Uh, this is probably maybe the most the most nerve wracking part of driving. You know, definitely driving in traffic is something that you know takes a little while to get used to. You know, I'm sure like in a week or two you'll be like it'll come like second nature. But you know, your first few times out on the road, you are gonna be a little nervous. You are gonna be, gonna be a little hesitant to do certain things, and that's completely okay. That's completely normal. I know some. I know driving comes easier to some people, and some people will brag about how easy you know driving is. But driving is a very serious thing. You can lose your life. You can't take somebody else's life with a car. And um, it's just, you know, like there's a, there's a time and place for everything, but I think for the most part, you know, you always want to be as safe as possible. So the more you practice on the quieter roads, the easier getting into traffic will be. You really want to practice, you know, using your rear view mirror, and I don't know why I pointed it like this as if I was in my car. <laughs> Uh, you really want to practice using your rear view mirror, your mirrors to the side of you, you know, your turn signals, you know, making sure your turns are never too wide or short. Um, and, you know, just really get a basic feel for your car. So basically, you just want to be really comfortable with your car. You want to be able to maneuver the car in traffic. You want to be comfortable switching lanes, parking, and all those things. Obviously, I can't teach you all of those things in one video. I'd love to, but it would just be way too long, and it would just make more sense to focus on one thing at a time. So if you guys want to see, like, different videos on how to park and stuff like that, I could definitely do that. You know, I'll have one of my boys hold the camera while you see, you know, what I do and show you do and do not. So if that's something you might be interested in, Leave me a comment down below and let me know. So jumping into the road test, on the day of the road test, you're going to need two things. You're going to need your driver's permit. You're going to need a licensed driver over the age of, I believe, 18 or 21. I'm not sure. You might have to check with the, uh, like your state law, basically, to see if you know like what the DMV requires. And you need a certificate of completion from a five-hour educational defensive driving program. That was a mouthful to say. I'm not sure how, how relevant that is in other states, but for New York, you definitely need some type of driver's ed uh, certification, defensive driving certification to, uh, to take your road test. Uh, they will check the driver you came with to make sure that they're over the age of whatever your state requires. Um, they will check that driver. So do not have your friend who just got his junior license. Do not get him to drive you, even though you know that's your boy or whatever. They will check your license and they will not allow you to take your road test if you're not with a, license, a senior licensed driver over the age of 18 or 21. So I'm gonna put some bullet points up on the screen if I haven't already. So you can get like a, a very strong visual understanding of, what, of, uh, of all my notes. You can even screenshot these if you want to, if you don't wanna take notes down with a pen and paper. But here we go. So your instructor is going to greet you. You're probably going to have to line up your car on the side of the on the side of the DMV test site, wherever it may be. You're going to have to line up your car. Well, the person driving you is going to have to line up your car. 
Um, the instructors eventually, you know, they're probably going to be a line and you're going to be getting more nervous as you're going down the line, getting closer to your turn. You should be outside of the car at this point. Your instructor is going to come to you, you know, uh, you definitely want to greet them, be super respectful. So when the instructor gets into the car, they're going to tell you to check your mirrors. You do not want to turn on the car when they get in the car. They never told you to turn on the car and they're the instructor to telling you literally every move that you're going to make within the next 10, 15 minutes. So you do not want to turn on the car until they say so. Uh, once they tell you to turn it on, they'll tell you to adjust your mirrors and all that stuff. Uh, you do want to adjust your mirrors because technically the person who drove you to the DMV site had the mirror set up for their preference, not your preference. So if you don't move them, it's kind of it kind of looks like how why aren't they moving the mirrors? Like you know what I'm saying? So you definitely want you definitely want to you know move the mirrors a little bit even if you're faking it, make it look like you're doing something. So your hands for the sake of the road test, obviously not everybody drives like this in you know in everyday situations, but but your hands should be at ten and two. Uh, I'm gonna put a picture of that up right here. You want to remember that when you're first, since you're going to be probably on the side of the road, when the instructor tells you to pull out, you want to signal right there and then. And going into signaling, uh, every time you hear the instructor either say, we're going to make a left up here or a right up there, you would just want to signal. Just signal right there on the spot. It'll definitely impress them when the second you say, we're going to make a left up here, that you just flick on the signal, or we're going to make a right up here, you just flick up the signal. You'll seem very attentive to everything that they say. So on my personal road test, uh, we pulled out, we went straight. We made a right turn, so the second he said, like he said in the middle of the block, he said we're going to make a right up here, made a right. After I made my first turn, he was like, okay, it's time to parallel park, pulled to the side. When I pulled to the side and like next, you know, you parallel, you get you get parallel next to the car, um, you signaled, I signaled when I did that. I signaled again, or I actually, you can either signal or put your flashers on, I don't really think it matters uh, when you're parking, you know, so you know, cut the wheel, reverse, straighten out, all that. Uh, once I finished parking, he told me to pull out. When you're pulling out of the parking space, you really wanna make sure that you're exaggerating, looking over your shoulder, and really checking your blind spot. Not only your mirrors, but your blind spot. That's extremely important. If, if you don't do that, they will mark points off, and it'll just be a lot more difficult to pass if you mess up some things further down the road test. After I pull out of the parking spot, check my blind spot, we went down the block at the intersection. You want to have really good judgment at intersections, because if you don't, that's another thing that they can take points off of. You know, who goes first and who doesn't. Uh, you know, sometimes it'll be another driver's fault, and trust me, they're smart enough to see that. But if it is your fault, they will mark points off. I made a left at the intersection, and then I made a right. And on this pretty wide block, you know, they, they don't make it too difficult for you. On this pretty wide block, he told me to pull over to my right, signal to my right, you know, pulled over to the side of the road. And then he said, from here, you're gonna make your three-point turn. So I made my three-point turn, you know, I signaled on every every direction I was going. Uh, then we went back up to the stop sign, made a left going back to where uh, we came from. And then from there, up that block, uh, the speed limit actually changed. So you wanna make sure that you're aware of the speed limit in the area you're in. Some the DMV test site is created to be in an area where the speed limit changes. So it might change from, from a 25 mile an hour speed limit to like a 15 mile an hour speed limit. Actually. When I was on my road test, it's pretty funny, some guy actually jumped into the other lane and cut around me because I was going so slow. I kind of like my concern with him and I was like, just so my instructor knew, I was like, you know, I'm here driving like this. It's something along the lines of like, oh man, this guy's super impatient, the speed limit's only 15. So I made it aware to my driving instructor that I knew that the speed limit changed. So my road test only lasted about six and a half minutes. Uh, it's actually really, it's actually fairly quick and um, I was really nervous at the time but once I started driving and you know I saw my kind of, I saw my instructor nodding his head when I did something correctly then I kind of, kind of, it made me a lot more confident and I was like okay I got this, he like, like he knows that I know what I'm doing so it made me feel really good and you know I'm not sure how every other instructor is going to be but you know I, I'm sure some of them are more tedious than others but for the most part, you know, they've had a super long day. They just want to make sure that you're safe on the road and that you're capable of controlling your vehicle on the road. So just a small recap on things to remember, probably going to be more bullet points right here. You want to signal when you hear the words either right or left in the correct direction. You want to be really aware of your speed limit. Don't allow any cars behind you or to the side of you, you know, affect how you're driving. Completely block them out. I mean, be aware of them, but you want to completely block out them rushing you or honking at you or any of that. You're in control of your vehicle and not any single other vehicle on the road can control what your car does. So if they want to jump around you, they can jump around you, that's fine. Your goal is to pass the road test and get your license. Uh, kind of, kind of towards the mindset side of things, you want to make sure that you keep a positive mindset. 
if you're telling yourself like, oh man, I don't think I got this, or oh man, I, I think I might fail, I didn't practice enough. Well, I mean, that might be reality, but you still want to keep the you still want to keep the most positive mindset you can, you know? There's no need to think about failing. If you fail, you're going to fail regardless. There's no need to think about it, you know? You want to you want to fill up your mind with a bunch of positive thoughts. You want to tell yourself that you're going to pass it the first try. You're going to tell you just want to form your mind into a very positive mindset and really and really believe in yourself that you're going to pass. Like you could tell yourself like, "Hey, I might be nervous right now, but it's okay. I know I'm going to do everything correctly. I'm going to pass this and I'm going to get my license today." Little affirmations like that are just super important to you, you know, not only becoming a more successful individual, but for this case, uh, making sure that you pass your road test. Uh, on one more thing on the mindset side of things is, you know, if you fail, which is not gonna happen if you implement all the steps that I've taught you today correctly, but uh, if you do fail, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I believe road tests are scheduled, are, are free to schedule, at least mine was, so, so, you know, if you fail, you didn't really lose anything. If anything, you got more of an experience because now you know what to expect on the next one. So there's no need to even consider failing, but if it makes you feel more comfortable, just know that it's not the end of the world. You're not gonna die. Nobody's gonna be upset at you. None of that. You're just gonna have to take the test again until you get it correctly. There's nothing, there's nothing to worry about, lose sleep over, anything like that. I know some people who really, really stressed out on, uh, on passing their road test and I understand how scary driving can be for some people. You're probably a car guy or a girl even and um, you know I'm sure that you're, you're, you're more excited than nervous but for the people who are a little more on the nervous side of things you know there's no need to be nervous. You're here to better yourself, you're here to be more independent and you should be happy and very optimistic about that. So that pretty much wraps it up for the video. If you made it this far I really really appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Uh, let me know if these steps actually help you pass if you have a road test coming up soon. Drop a like on this video if you got any type of value from it and, and drop me a comment if you want to see more educational videos like this. I haven't edited this yet, but I know it's on the longer side of things, so I apologize. It's kind of hard to like smash together four to six months of practice and things you need to do to pass your road test. So if you guys want a video maybe on like one specific thing like parking or three point turns or something like that, uh, feel free to leave me a comment or DM me on Instagram and uh, my Instagram is right here and um, let me know. So if you're viewing right now and you're not currently subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you do so. It helps me out so much and I've been seeing the numbers go up slowly but consistently and it's just really motivating and it knows that the content that I'm putting out, other people really enjoy. So I've been trying really hard, you know, getting the light set up correctly. I have a big light next to me, if you guys don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I've been trying super hard. I've been putting my all into every single video and uh, you know, I've been working in the background with the automotive lifestyle brand I'm trying to create and um, just so many great things are happening soon. So I, I really want you guys to be a part of that journey. So click that red subscribe button below and join the fam. Oh, one more thing I forgot to add. Uh, the app that you guys wanna, the app that you guys wanna get, especially if you're in New York, uh, there's a bunch of them. Like it, I think they have, I think the company makes um, different apps for different locations. Uh, the app is gonna be posted on the screen right here. And um, the link will be in the description at the very, very bottom of the description. Like after the story I have in my description. If you don't know, there's a story in my description. Um, you guys should definitely read that. Check it out. But um, yeah, love you guys. And then the outro is gonna. I'm filming this after the outro, but outro. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next one.